Hey everybody, my name is Owen and today I want to make a video about the very very tricky topic of anger. Understanding under anger and how to express anger. So I'm going to call this video something like five ways, five essential things you need to know about anger. I got into a conversation today and the topic was like anger and how to express anger and should we should like the, the idea of being real like I love real people and I, I, I love realness and authenticity but there's different ways to be authentic like you can be real and destroy things and you can be real and be careful and not destroy things so a lot of this ties into being conscious or being careful so I'm just going to quickly go over the ways of being of, of anger. Okay, the five points. One is anger is related to your mind. Okay, um, your thoughts and your beliefs, your perceptions. Okay, your mind. Because sometimes we get angry because we perceive or believe something is happening that's bad towards us that actually isn't really happening. So it's very important to question your beliefs and to know yourself, know thyself, as Socrates says. So for example, like somebody could step on my toe or bump me or someone could say something and I perceive them as deliberately trying to hurt me or trying to upset me or being selfish or mean and they actually might not be doing what we're really actually thinking or believing they are. So it's very important to understand your mind and to investigate and study your mind, to study yourself before you react and just express, before you just express anger because that will lead to fighting and argument and hurting, okay? So, mind, thoughts, beliefs, and self-study and self-knowledge, okay? That's one point. The second point I want to say that, that relates to anger is your past. Often anger can surface now as like an overreaction. It, it can be other emotions too, like feeling very, very sad or upset or lonely, but anger too, because of past experiences. So, this, this is... This, this is talking about being triggered, so your past being triggered, overreactions. So if we had wounds and traumas from the past that we haven't fully like processed and felt and expressed, it can surface now like, uh, like a volcano as an overreaction. And then obviously that's one way we need to really know about this aspect about anger. Um, so we need to get healing by, by self, going over what happened in the past, the traumas, remembering feeling the emotions without judgment through the eyes of love and um, understanding and expressing or crying or letting out anger in various safe non-destructive ways so there there's two things so far okay the past and the mind the third thing we need to know about anger is the heart the heart is what i want to say so when it comes to anger we, we don't want to just be real and express our anger we also want to be, be careful and to tune into our heart because other people, when we get angry, often, let's say it's in a relationship or family, friend, workmate or a partner. Anger happens, okay? Are we connected to our heart? Because it's very important to care for other people's emotions too and where they're coming from. If they're perceiving us wrongly, if they're being triggered, if they're acting from an old wound and they're hurting now. So we want to connect to our heart and express anger I like to say, generally speaking, before expressing anger too fast, we want to connect to our heart first and be really, really careful. And we want to understand our mind, like I said earlier, and be aware if it's coming from our past. So, before you express anger, connect to your heart, tune into understanding other people, tune into understanding yourself, have love and compassion for other people as well as yourself. So, connect to your heart, and that will generally mean you'll speak more gently, more with love more with carefulness okay you'd be less likely to like fight people with even verbally or physically and you'd be more likely to feel a sense of like coming down into your heart and maybe having a sense of like love peace sadness or compassion like sadness for other people's pain as well as your own pain so you feel compassion and sadness for your pe your pain and other people's pain so tuning into heart is a pivotal point, especially in relationships or where you're arguing a lot or a family member or whatever. You have to tune into your heart and try and tune into that, okay? So the fourth point I want to mention is being careful. So that's important. So the first one was uh, your mind. The second one was the past and triggers. The third one is your heart, tune into your heart. Now the fourth point I want to mention is to be careful because 
what what I feel today strongly is when we're not careful in life we're more likely to hurt or have accidents even physically you're doing your job or you're walking on the road or if you're not careful and some spiritual community call it being unconscious if you're just really uncareful you're probably going to trip up have an accident bump off something or or like you know maybe if you're not careful with your words I'm not careful with your heart you're going to end up hurting people easier and get into fights and arguments. You're going to be more likely to sink into your ego and trying to be right, trying to overpower people, trying to make other people wrong, and maybe even make other people cry if you're really low without your heart. So being careful means to be conscious, to be careful of other people, be aware or mindful of other people's feelings, to be mindful and aware of the effects of your, your actions and your words. So it's really important to be careful in life overall, not just like related to anger, but, but totally related to anger too. You have to be careful, tune into your heart, study your mind, see if your beliefs are right or wrong, see if you're being triggered from the past, is this related to an old injury, emotional injury. So do, they, they're the four things already, yeah? Um, so I think it's good to pause before expressing anger too quick. Um, you can still be real. You don't have to be real and express anger before trying to connect with these things. You can try and connect to these things and anger can turn into sadness or it can melt away, you know? When you, when, in my life anyway, I've been angry, okay? And, and sometimes when you tune into compassion on your heart, anger can change to sadness for another person's feelings, like you care about them. So if you can tune into your heart, you can tune into caring. When you really care about another person, suddenly anger can melt away and you feel love and soft care for them instead. The fighting spirit has melted. The caring, motherly, tender, divine feminine spirit has risen instead. It's really, 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 really important. Not only can this like help stop an argument in this track, it can actually help really heal a disconnection or a fighting or argument help heal the pain caused from an argument you just had um, so yeah I think that's really what I want to say um, mind thoughts beliefs to anger anger understanding anger anger it's good to understand anger because we want to understand why are we anger angry often we're angry generally because we're hurt and anger comes up to fight or protect ourselves so beneath anger is pain and hurt, sadness, etc. So because pe we feel like people are giving us a hard deal, an unfair treatment, they're being mean. So it's really important to see, are they really being mean or trying to attack us, or are we imagining that? That's where number point number one, mind, perceptions, thoughts and beliefs. So it's important to study ourselves and understand the truth first. The truth shall set you free is my favourite, most powerful quotation that I know of in the world. So if we tune in, Knowing the truth that someone's in pain and that's why they're being angry can help us have compassion and the divine feminine spirit of love and sa sadness for them instead of having a massive fight, for example. But at the same time, we want to understand anger because we want to understand like why are we angry because usually we're, we're often angry too because we're not getting our needs met. So for example, let's say our partner will never hug us or doesn't want to kiss us, they don't say I love you, they... They don't clean up the kitchen after themselves. Just to be practical here, like grounded, you know, grounded spirituality. We can get angry because we're hurting and in pain because we think they don't give a shit about us. We think they don't care about us. We think maybe they don't love us. At least their behavior seems to be showing this. So then there might come anger, like, I'm gonna f I made a video once, um, I'll maybe put it here, called Fighting for Love. We'll fight for love. We want to be loved. We want to be treated nicely. And if we're not through nice, friendly conversation or asking pleasantly, we'll fight for love. We'll like, be nice to me, like clean up after yourself, like be nice. Why don't you ever say you love me or hug me? Like we have needs, so we might need affection. We might need like human, we might need like to feel loved and respected. And every, a need is generally universal. Everybody has them and they don't need to be met by one person. So if we feel like we're very incompatible with like our workmate, a friend or our partner, if they totally don't want the affection or the, they don't like the same stuff, like we, might, we need similarities in our relationships. Like we need to have a shared mental system, like maybe 
a shared direction in life. Like, let's say I want to have children, and my partner doesn't want to have children. I, I have a need within me to procreate. Let's say I do, but so another person might not. And then you can say, okay, well, you get your need met by someone, and I'll get my need met by any, by somebody. We never have to say, you need to meet my needs. We don't have to be stuck or get our needs met by one specific person. So it's, and that's a big topic, but I won't get into the whole topic of needs right now. It's a very big topic, um, and non-violent communication, etc. But I hope these, this helps you with um, anger and emotions in general. So I'll end the video in a second, but um, one thing I try to remember to say is to be careful in all areas of life, to know it thyself, to study and reflect upon your behavior your life, and your needs and wants and wishes, your heartfelt desires, and also your assumptions. And like one of the main spiritual like teachings, there's books written about it, is like don't make assumptions, like jumping to believing something and it might not be true. So just be really careful to understand and know your mind. And before things get really out of control, be really, really careful at the beginning. Try to be as careful as possible at the beginning before emotions get too before emotions get too elevated, like be careful. But if you lose control of yourself, just try and remember to be really, really careful and to jump back into your heart again. And to just give other people a bit of like love and compassion too and feel that they are pain, they're hurting too. And when you can remember that other people are in pain and hurting, because usually we forget that when we're upset ourselves. If you can remember others are hurting and in pain, that really, really helps us. Because when we disconnect from our heart, that, that's a real bad thing for us. We, we suffer when we're lost from our heart. So when we, when we reconnect from, to our heart, that's a huge help for us. And it's a massive blessing and help for another person, because we don't act like their enemy anymore and be mean to them. We get to love them and make them better, like heal them, like like treat them a little bit like a hurting child. Is I had I, there's a spiritual teacher who said like treat other people in pain, like treat other people like a five year old in pain. Like what would you say to a five year old kid who's in pain, suffering emo emotionally? You're not going to be shouting and yelling and pointing and crit criticizing them, like putting them down. You're going to be more gentle and careful, right? So it's the same idea about being careful. Being careful is a very big important point. Knowing thyself is a huge point. Realizing where, you, if your, your triggers or your past traumas are coming into this. The mind and the past and the emotions are all like very related. And then the heart is so related and being careful and understanding, knowing thyself, your needs, your what you want in life, why you get upset, what why you're doing what you're doing and why you're not doing what you're not doing in life. Like, why am not I? You know, sometimes people say, oh, like, I love piano but I haven't been playing for the last 30 years, like why not? Like why aren't you doing what you love? So I'd encourage you on, an, on a tangent to this video, honour thyself and be true to thyself. Um, know, know thyself and be true to thyself. Two most, and the truth to set you free, like so important quotations, like reflect and understand them and go and have a lovely life. But be true, you know, and be careful and be loving in a way that's true to yourself. Um, carefully and I encourage you to always seek healing from people like me or other energetic healers locally or on the internet try get healing it helps clean up the energy and the traumas and the the wounds and the, the dirt so to speak from your past it'll help you with every emotion including anger it'll totally help you with the topic of this video so if you want to get like clarity and or empowerment coach clarity coaching empowerment coaching or health coaching from me they're all the same basically. I do health coaching and clarity empowerment coaching. Or go off to somebody else who you, who you love and resonate with. Highly encourage that. Like, check out my links below the video for my coaching, my website, maybe even books that I've written, as well as my Higher Self Herbs herb shop, which can help with emotions, mind, and body. And when you clean up your body too, that'll help your emotions too. So, more natural unprocessed fresher diet really really help and supporting with herbs or superfoods which you can buy in the world or on my shop too and I appreciate the support also that can really help your emotions and anger and emotional healing so I just wanted to say thank you for taking the time to be interested in like healing and growing up maturing growing into a nice bigger tree from a sapling 
and then as more of us do this the world will be a much more like beautiful place for us to share together but until then let's just focus on ourselves to be more nicer kinder holier purer just heal ourselves that's all all the good things like love will naturally come as we heal you don't have to try too hard to be loving or kind just clarify yourself and that's why i call myself like do clarity coaching clearing up the energy the chakras the body mind spirit totally totally changes your life so and uh, just being true to yourself and living your true purpose not to be afraid of what other people think just live your purpose be true to yourself and go out go and chase your dreams so thank you for the camera lady thank you mm -hmm. and thanks for your love and energy and positive wishes everybody so have a good, have a lovely day and i'll speak to you soon and befriend me on facebook and connect with me and etc uh, god bless many blessings